Hello everyone. Welcome to part six of SQL for beginners series. In this video session, I am going to explain the importance of using semicolon in the SQL statements. So, what exactly is a semicolon? Semicolon is a symbol, guys. The symbol looks something like this. I'll mark this particular thing in red color. As you can see, this red color thing is nothing but a semicolon. You have a keyboard option using which you can enter the semicolon here, right? So now you know what is a semicolon is. It's a symbol. So after writing any SQL statement, let me take an example. Select star from customers is a SQL statement. The select start from customers is an SQL statement. So after writing this SQL statement, we can end this SQL statement with semicolon symbol. We can end this SQL statement with semicolon symbol like this. But is it mandatory? Is it mandatory to end the SQL statements with semicolon? Symbol every time. What's the answer, guys? The answer is only in some RTBMS software it is mandatory. It's not mandatory everywhere. Semicolon ending the SQL statements with semicolon is not mandatory everywhere. It is optional. In some RTBMS, it's mandatory in some RTBMS. Let me take some examples of optional. For example, if I go to this page, here I can write some SQL statements. So that is nothing but in W3 schools, there is a kind of client kind of interface is provided to make your learning easy or to make your SQL uh, practice easy. So if I write some SQL statement here, do I have to end this SQL statement with send column? If I provide sem semicolon and try to run it, it will work. What if I remove it? Will it work or not? Select start from customers without semicolon will work or not. So it's working. That means it's optional. In W3 schools, this kind of tool, whatever the tool that W3schools.com uh, is using, whatever the RTBMS software uh, in the background, this particular W3schools.com is using, this semicolon is optional. You don't, it is not mandatory. But there are several RDBMS softwares available in the market. In some of the RDBMS software, semicolon is mandatory. In some, some like the ones that are used by this uh, w3schools.com, it's optional. I'll take another example. So here we have MySQL. MySQL is one RDBMS software, one of the open source RDBMS software available in the market. In order to in order to work with this uh, MySQL RDBMS software, we need MySQL Workbench. So how to configure this MySQL RDBMS software and how to use this uh, MySQL Workbench, all those things I'll explain in the upcoming videos, guys. For now, just blindly follow. In my machine, it's already configured and installed. So I can directly explain. You don't have to worry this about this, guys. This is just for the example. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to cover this MySQL RDBMS configuration along with this MySQL Workbench. You don't have to worry for now. Just blindly follow whatever I am explaining. So here also we have some statement here. Select star from vehicle. It has a semicolon. So if I have to run it, I'll select this. This is MySQL RTBMS case. In MySQL RTBMS, let's find out whether the semicolon is mandatory or optional. So with semicolon, I'm trying to run. It is working. I'm getting some result. What if I remove the semicolon and try to run again? Still, I'm getting that means here also in the RTBMS, MySQL, open source RTBMS, RTBMS software also, the semicolon is optional. But there are some other RTBMS softwares in the market in which the semicolon has to be mandatorily provided. Should We should mandatorily provide the semicolon in those kind of RTBMS where it is mandatory. But whatever the things I am going to use for explaining this uh, execution of the SQL statements or practicing the SQL statements in all these tools, it is optional, but better to keep this, okay? In some RTBMS, it is mandatory. In some RTBMS, it's optional. Better to make practice of 
providing semicolon at the end of the SQL statements. Then we don't have to worry whether it is optional or mandatory. At any cost, we are going to provide. It's going to work everywhere, right? So that's one thing. Now, so semicolon is optional in some RTBMS software and it's mandatory in some RTBMS software. So why, why semicolon? What's the purpose? Why we have to use semicolon? Why the why few RTBMS softwares are making this semicolon mandatory? What's the what's the reason behind that? The reason is here here I cannot execute multiple statements at a time. Okay. For example, here select start for customers is there. If I say select select customer name from customers, how many SQL statements are there? Two are there. Can I run these two things uh, together? Uh, that is at the same time in this w3schools.com tool. It's not possible. I will get an error. Okay. One not an error. Error is coming. Only one statement I can execute. Either this one or that one. Here only one thing is required. But I need a kind of platform where I can execute more than one statements. More than one statements. For example, if I go to this uh, MySQL workbench, from this tool, I can execute multiple statements at the same time here we have select start from vehicle i'll write one more thing like uh, select uh, select type from vehicle okay so two statements are there here you see this statement is correct but i am getting an error this particular tool mysql workbench is giving error when i am typing the statement the reason here is you have not provided a semicolon here if you provide the semicolon the error is gone the reason here is if you have multiple SQL statements as a part of separation, you need semicolon. You want to separate this statement from this statement. Then at the end of this SQL statement, you have to provide the semicolon. And if you want to separate this statement, SQL statement from this SQL statement, at the end of this second SQL statement, we have to provide the semicolon. So semicolon can be used as a separation between multiple SQL statements. This MySQL Workbench tool is allowing you to write down multiple SQL statements in the same dialog so you can even execute at the same time guys for example if i put all these uh, semicolons uh, with proper separation if i run this you see at same time two two sql statements got run this functionality is only available in the mysql workbench so in such kind of case where we have to provide multiple sql queries at the same place as part of the separation we need to add the semicolon at the end of the statements if you remove the semicolon immediately you are going to get an error okay Select is not valid because this is getting combined with this statement. So in order to separate it, we have to provide semicolon so that this SQL statement is now separate from this SQL statement. So sem semicolon acts as a separator between multiple SQL statements. That's the purpose of semicolon, guys. It's mandatory in some RTBMS software and it is not mandatory or it is optional in some other RTBMS software. And the purpose is to separate the multiple SQL statements. So in order to separate your SQL statements from the remaining other uh, SQL statements, you have to use semicolon. That's the purpose case. So hope you understood what exactly is semicolon and where it is mandatory and optional and uh, what's the purpose. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.